Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production. Today I'm going to be going over something people have been asking me for a while, and that's the Neural Amp Loader. It's just been released in the newest version, uh, 16.9, and I'm also going to be showing you the Impulse Response Loader. So some people may not be aware that this is in MGuitar Architect. Uh, this has been released. I still haven't done a, a walkthrough on my channel, but I'll try to do that soon just for people that you know may not know exactly how to use it. So let's get started here. What we have is we have an amp, we have a cabinet, and this is what you might typically see in M Guitar Architect. Now that's great, but you might think like, I don't really know these amplifiers so much, or I don't understand this cabinet. And if that's the case, I'm gonna show you how you can load your own impulse responses in here. So what we're gonna do is just turn off this cabinet at first. Go in here where it says impulse response. Click that, and you see here we have these, but a lots of these are like reverbs, basically. So if I play this now, it's gonna sound terrible. It's fizzy, like it has reverb on it. We don't want this. We want an actual speaker impulse response. Now you can click custom path and look through your, uh, you know, your file system there. But if you want an easier way is just go into some place like this, wherever you have your impulse responses, just click one and drag it over here. Now you see they're loaded here, and you can see the file system down here if we want. I mean, click through them. In this case, let's actually listen through some of the other ones, like here. It's actually not different. That's a little bit fatter. Let's listen to, let's try another one. I actually don't like this impulse response that much. Let's try this. Actually, I don't like the classic Plead 30. I'm going the wrong one. I'm messing up my file system. So let's look in here. It's in 57. So you hear, Lots of differences in between those, and we can use those as I showed in a previous video to mix these together. These also have a high pass element here, so I can move this up. Too much, way too much. Whatever you want, and the same with low pass. So if you notice there's a little bit too much fizz at the top, I can bring it down maybe like around here. And that's up to you. It also has a widening option here. So if I was in here, let's say I have the stereo Celestian. You see here, it's in stereo. If I bring it down, it's not. And we can widen it a little bit. It's actually easier to see if you use this. So those options are there. It also has a pre-delay, so you can move this up, like here. You probably can't tell because uh, you can't hear the delay between my guitar and this, but this will add several sec seconds of pre-delay, or not seconds, milliseconds, I should say, here. This can be useful for creative effects, like if I was gonna use a room sound, and I think, you know what, this might sound better, like 20 milliseconds delayed compared to the other impulse responses I might have mixed in. Or if you have two impulse responses and they seem out of phase, you can, you know, do these very slight, very fine-tuned uh, millisecond, or actually these are less than a millisecond adjustments to try to get them in phase. So hopefully it gives you an idea of what you can use with this impulse response loader. Now, we're still using this amp, and if you haven't noticed, ooh, look, we have nice, beautiful pictures in here. So you can scroll through these and you can just, you know, find them visually. But if you don't like this amp, and you think, I want something else, we can use this Neural Amp Loader. So we have this in here. If you look here, here are the uh, profiles. So I have one here. Pretty clean, but here's one with a little bit more gain on it. Or a little bit cleaner one. So we have all these in here, and if you're thinking like, I want more, the same thing as before, we can look through the custom path, or if you don't want to do that, 
just wherever you have your neural amp models or profiles, just load them in here. This. I don't have a ton, but I have like a good amount here. Let's see here. Uh, I already did that one. Let's try this. This one's low in volume. I'm gonna turn the input. Actually, let's turn the output up first. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this one. Turn the output down. And you see here, sometimes people put the settings for these, like I guess this is bass, middle, treble, uh, gain, master volume, etc. Try ten. <laughs> I find the high gain ones a little bit easier to hear, at least for me, while I'm doing this. Now, we have all these, and unlike the actual neural amp loader software, as far as I know, we have some bass controls, treble controls, etc. Uh, I already showed you the input and the output. Let's actually go to a less gained out model. Like... We hear a little bit of gain, but let's say we want more gain. Just turn down the output first so it doesn't get too loud. And let's turn up the input here. Let's see what this sounds like. So by increasing the input, you can get more gain in there. And sometimes you need to turn the output down because it'll get too loud. But on really distorted sounds, it's actually okay because the distortion will compress it. Now, another thing we can do, if we go back to here, we have our tone control. So I'll play it and just listen to what it does. So you can affect the tone easily with that. You have a wet-dry control. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now here we have input low cut and output low cut. Uh, let's just listen to the outputs first for all of these. So we have output low cut. Easy, just cuts off the bottom end. Uh, output high cut. Easy, set that wherever you want. And same thing with the bass controls. With these also, you have the ability to adjust the frequency. So from this one, from 80 hertz all the way to 200 hertz for the bass. For our middle, it goes from 500 to or actually, it's 1,250 here. So you hear quite a bit of difference there, and same thing with the treble here. Maybe too much, make sure you have that limiter on. Now you might be wondering, okay, you didn't do the input. The input's gonna be a little bit different. So this is going to cut off the signal coming in and going into the distortion. So these will give you kind of a different effect. Instead of increasing the bass or the treble or etc., what's gonna happen is it's going to it's accentuate those frequencies and make the tone sound a little bit different. Uh, so the input low cut, this one's actually very good if you feel like, ah, my guitar isn't quite tight enough. This is like a quick, tightening button here. But let's uh, check out the bass and see what it does. Now thing here, it makes it really flubby. It is increasing the bass a bit, but it's more the flubbiness. Now, if we have it, let's see. Uh, I'll turn up the input a little bit. If you turn it up a bit and have a bit more gain going through there, it almost sounds like a bass pedal. Now sometimes you want that kind of flubbiness, but if you don't, you can turn that down. And then to get bass back, you can turn up the output like this. Really ingenious setup. Uh, same thing with the mids. I'll let you hear that. Mm -hmm. 
and trouble. So by using all of that, this makes it really, really adjustable. And of course, if you're thinking, where am I supposed to get these profiles from? I like these, but I want more. You can go on the internet and just search for neural amp loader or neural amp models, but check out this Tone Hut, this tonehut.org. I'm not affiliated with this, so I'm just telling you because that's what I use. And you can find here lots and lots of different profiles. Just click it and download them and try them out. Luckily, they're free. So if you try it, it's like, oh, this, this is garbage. Just throw it away. You don't need it. And it shows you popular trending, uh, etc. And you can search for them. I just showed you the amps here, but there are actually a good number of pedals as well. Let me see. They kind of, will they show me one here? Uh, no, let me see. Trending. I'll show you myself uh, here in mine. So I downloaded this one or this one. These are both pedals and you see they have lots of different uh, settings on there. So you can find one that works perfectly for you. Uh, I think this really expands the neural amp loader. It has a lot of different ways to tweak your tone. So if you have some profile, it's like, ah, it's almost 100% what I want, but not exactly. Using these different EQ controls, you can get it there. And of course, mess with your IRs and you can come up with some really cool stuff. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to leave me any questions or comments down below and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.